Hello, this is Star Dragon. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to do another Gashin real another video on Gashin Impact. It's gonna be on the Raiden Shogun A here. This is just a video, it's gonna be uh, um, another video of it because uh, my last video I actually did watch it. And yeah, I don't think it's very beneficial watching. So I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but I'm just gonna leave it there. So if you have not seen my last video of the uh, Dial Miko, go ahead and check that out because this is one. I just gonna do another video. Um, I'm gonna do a Coco video video next. You got the in a in a 2.5 uh, passion on Gashin Impact. You're gonna have Dial Miko, Rain Shogun, or Coco Me. So I'm just gonna do all three, all of those videos just to make sure that you which one you want a character you want. For me, I already have Rain Shogun. And I don't need another one. Those other two characters. So if before ado, let's get into the video. If you guys don't know who the Rain, who the, the um, Rain Shogun A did, she's the Electro Archon, uh, and the one who beat the Serpent in the in the Zuma. Yeah, and she actually is stuck in the, in the war, so it's like no beginning or something. But yeah, that's her realm though. Okay, so start off with her, her um, attack. I will actually do her um, artifacts too. I won't do everything, even the weapon. So yeah, just uh, just. Just wait until then. Uh, we'll be doing that at, at the video. We're going to start out with her normal attack, which is called Oregon. And uh, ignore, ignore the level, because this is my gameplay. I actually increased their talent, the number. So, a normal attack will perform, just will perform up to five executive uh, strike from her spear. And she hit the spear using character. And uh, her charge attack will go up with slash, which is a uh, consumed amount of stamina with all, care, all spear character used. And her plunge attack is no different than any other character. It's just going to hit down to the ground, causing AOE impact damage. Her elemental skill here is called Baseful Omen. So this one that's going to be, that you're going to get when you use her elemental skill, it will gain a eye, eye of Stormy Judgment. It also works on party number nearby party number too, and also on your allies uh, when you're using your character. It also works on them too. What it is going to do is just going to coordinate the attack and doing AOE electro damage at the opponent. When whoever and the character who have has to have gained the eye of stormy judgment will have their elemental burst damage increased based on how on the energy cost and elemental burst and dur eye duration. So more energy the cost on the opening, the longer the eye duration is going to be. In case on the party and also hit well, every 0.9 second. And her, this next one is going to be her elemental skill here, elemental burst I mean. She will actually draw a sword and her normal charge and plunge attack will deal electro damage to an opponent. It cannot be overridden and also she will also regenerate uh, energy for all party number. Restoring for every restoring a party number energy for every one second can trigger up to five times. While while during the um during the active of the her elemental burst, she will, she will have resistance to interruption and she will also be immune to electro charge reaction damage which it's it, like it, she she have it's like she have a hydro on her and uh, and electricity it will she will be immune to that that's what I mean and while it's active there her normal charge attack and plunge attack will also consider as a elemental burst damage so all her damage will consider on elemental burst during the state during the stats. So it only lasts for like five seconds. So during that time, you will do a lot. Of, you will do heck of damage. The passive talent here, unwish a number call. Wish a number is called. So all when nearby party number gain an elemental orb or particles will will increase. The omen stack we gain for two for occur every three seconds. That one I think. And second pass is pass to talent number two, enlightened one. So every every character have 100 percent energy recharge at the start. But for a range shogun, every every like one percent above energy recharge, she will gain a greater energy distortion, 0.6 percent greater energy distortion from her ultimate and extra. 0.4% of electro damage bonus and I'll show you how much I have on her to consider how powerful she is. Her third passive talent is just nothing very much though. 
It's just like when you're trying to ascending or increasing the level on the sword or pole arm, she have a she have a decrease of cost by 50% on uh, on uh, Mora. So I start her um, with her constellation here. Her constellation level one. It just constellation level one. It's just gonna help when a uh, when electro character here use her elemental burst. But we bring the game we resolve will gain increase them by 80%. And if it, if a different character is not electro will will gain a increase of uh, 20% of the resolve resolve. Element level two here constellation level two. When she used in her ultimate, and uh, it will ignore the uh, opponent 60% of her of their defense, which I think it kind of broken though. But it's up to you though. Constellation level three here, it will increase her elemental burst level by three, but it cannot exceed by 15 beyond 15 though. Constellation level four here, when. Uh, which, when end of the when she uses the elemental burst at the at the end of the elemental burst though, which only lasts by five seconds after five seconds, then all then uh, your party number and yourself will gain thirty percent of attack bonus by for ten seconds. That also includes the range shotgun. Don't I mean by your even by even that also by yourself too. <laughs> Constellation level five here is just going to increase your elemental um, skill by the level by three. Can I to see 15? I don't know. Constitution level six here. It's just that when uh, when using a when uh, activating a elemental burst, attacking the opponent will have their um elemental burst will have all the element all the nearby party number elemental burst decrease the cooldown by one. That do not include a range shogun though. So it also can trigger once every one second. Then you can trigger up to five times, five times there the duration. So I don't think it's really a big deal on the on the on the wish bearer on constellation level six. If you want to, then you can. But I don't see what the beneficial of that. So I'll say increasing increasing all the way to her to element constellation level four is already more than enough. I have to say. And on art of artifacts build, I think that's just this is the guy you want to see. Oh, my bad. Okay, my my bad. Hang on. Okay, so here, so I have a flower on her. I used four pieces of uh, emblem, the emblem of a summon fate. That's why I think it, it's the best for a build for her. I'm not going to do anything else with that. So here, here's the, what it looks like array. So a flower one. So I main main stats always going to be hit points. But I put critical rate and critical damage here, but I do want NG recharge, so that's why I put NG recharge. This is the only artifact I only have that have NG recharge and with good sub stacks. Better, same thing. I wish the defense would be attacked, but who cares? Got to have NG recharge for 16.2% with critical rate and quick damage. And I recommend having a L glass here have L uh, and like NG recharge. On my last video, I did mention like having uh, a lot of people go for NG Recharge, but I say that also best if you have attack. I was wrong on that, so NG Recharge that your best if you read her, um, if you read her, um, passive talent. <laughs> so yeah, that's my that, that's my fault on on, uh, on that's my that's one I have my fault to blame at. Uh, if you guys want me to take out that video, I can. For a cup though, but cup this one different. For a cup. Electro damage bonus will be more beneficial. I would have to say I do want NG recharge, but I can't find it. So I this one only have good stack with elemental mastery, which kind of sucks though. But that's all I got. You got NG recharge? Nice. I increasing her crit rate here because I want her crit rate to be up to like 50%. If I don't if I, if I don't have this, her crit rate gonna be below 40. <laughs> so now, yeah, now you guys at least I uh, understand why I did that. I wish that uh, I wish one of these stacks would be NG recharge, but I can't find it either. Though it's saying I'm still working on her. Her weapon here, the weapon I have for her right now is going to be engulf lightning. This is her main weapon. You can find a different weapon that have like uh, that have um kind of like also have NG recharge too. There's also some weapon here you can actually um craft to have it. So one here you can you can use a um the catch that one too you can actually get that for free 
in the event. So in the event right now, Sky Wolf Spain also a good weapon to increase the crit rate by 8 and Rome Roar's attack speed by 12. I'd say that would be a good weapon to use too. You can use the Fulminous Lance for energy, more energy recharge or you can use the, the one you can craft from a freaking shop with prototype star glitter, that's one or two. And yeah, that's all. That's, I think that's all the pain I have right now, but you also can do a quick rate if you want, but I will quick damage if you want on, on the spear too, but I would rather go with energy recharge, but I still think a quick damage will do a lot more um, damage than uh, depending on the weapon energy recharge, but it also depends how much you have on there. So that's all I have you guys for today. I hope this video actually helps you. I my video my next video is gonna be a little bit different because I don't have not I do not have Coco Me, but my friend does. But also I gonna be doing a a, a little bit different on the Coco Me side. So yeah, stay tuned until then, and hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave a like if it helps, and if it, if you don't if you don't if it doesn't help, then comment comment below why. And catch you guys with my next video, man. Peace out, y'all.